In this video, we're going to look at the format of simple loops so that we can repeat commands. So here, if I want to make a square, I can do turtle dot move 100 and then turtle dot turn 90. So it turns right 90 and that will draw a line. If I move forward and then turn right 90 degrees four times, so I'm going to put this in here like this as a block, what we'll see very quickly is it will draw a square. Very nice. Now, you can see from line 4 to 11 that that's the code that draws the square, and that's fine. We can do it that way, but actually, if I wanted to draw a eight-sided shape, I'd need lots of lines, and if I wanted to draw a 30-sided shape, I'd need a huge amount of lines. Also, if I wanted to change the size of that square, I'd have to edit it in one, two, three, four different places. So this is not satisfactory. As a programmer, I'm a very lazy person. I want to spend the least effort possible maintaining my code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a for loop. So we can do this by starting to type the for loop, F-O, like this. And we are just going to use the normal for loop. So after I've typed in F-O, I press tab to complete it. And it gives me the format of the for loop. So the way a for loop works is it has a counter. So I could call it counter. And that counter is going to count up from 1 through to 4. So it's going to do this four times, one for each side of the square. You can see from what we had before that we're repeating exactly the same instructions four times. So instead of actually writing them out four times, I just tell the computer, I want you to do this four times. So let's have a look. If I run that, absolutely perfect square. So we're going to have a look in debug to see exactly how this runs. So if I click on debug like this, and I'm going to click over here to show what's in memory. So I click on next line. That's shown the turtle. I'm going to set the speed up and click on next line. And here I start with my for loop. When I execute this line, what it does is it sets up the counter at the value one. I then click next line and it does this and it does that instruction. It gets to the end for and instead of carrying on in the sequence of instructions like usual, because it's the for loop, it goes back up to the top. And then it increases the counter to two. It then does the move, does the turn, hits the end of the for loop and goes back up. Move, and you can see the counter's increased, turn, hits the end of the for loop, back up. And then lastly through, move, turn, hits the end of the for loop, and it actually goes back up. And can you see over here, it set the counter to five, but we've said only take the counter from one to four. So that means the loop knows it's finished. So the next line to run is the one immediately after the for loop, and it will just carry on from the program, uh, for the program, uh, from then on in. Now, this is really useful because what it means is, first of all, if I want to make this a smaller uh, square, I can just do that. And there we are. It's made that uh, square for us at the smaller size. If I wanted to, I could change this so I could say well actually let's go around eight times and let's only turn 45 degrees and what we find 
is it draws a perfect octagon. Now just to show you that this isn't some kind of special thing about shapes, if I go around six times, what do you think it will draw? Well, actually it will draw six sides of an octagon because I haven't changed the angle. If I want to draw a hexagon, I'd need to change the angle as well. And of course I can make a bigger hexagon and a smaller hexagon. So as you can see, it allows me to manipulate the program code very, very easily to produce a wide variety of shapes. For the second level uh, of your house drawing, you should include at least one for loop inside your program. For the third level, if you are having uh, lots of shapes, which I'd expect for the third level, then I'd be expecting you to use the for loop out of habit. So you'd be just using the for loop time and again to draw the different shapes of the house.